Hare Krishna. Sometimes when young people come to our society and have some conversation with us, they are quite hesitant uh, to associate with particular religion. They don't mind being spiritual, but they don't like to associate with any religion. So how do we understand this? What is the actual meaning of being religious and what is the actual meaning of being spiritual? Generally the word used religion, religion is, it is considered a sect. Some set of people, they want to follow certain rules and regulations and that is considered to be you know, religion. So we have many religions like, you know, Islam, Christianity, Hindu or Sikh religion or Jain religion. So many religions are there. So in Sanskrit there are two words. One is Dharma. If you, if you, in, Dharma is the Sanskrit word. So when you say religion, in English language, if you have to see what is religion, it is mentioned as sectarian faith. But actually, the true meaning of religion is dharma. The original word is dharma, Sanskrit word is dharma. And that has been translated as religion in English language. So, religion has nothing to do with somebody's faith. Dharma means that which is inseparable from anything or anybody is called dharma. For example, if you take water, you cannot remove liquidity from water. If you take sugar, you cannot take sweetness from sugar. If you take salt, you cannot take out saltiness from salt. If you take it out, it loses its identity completely. So, in the same way, religion is misunderstood as a, a sectarian faith. What is actually religion is something which is inseparable from any entity is called dharma or religion. Since we only know the modern connotation of religion, we try to you know, remove religion. We don't want to associate with religion because naturally we don't want to associate with a sectarian faith. That is why many people don't want to associate. But actually if you know the original meaning of religion, you would want to associate with religion because that is something which is a constant companion of everybody. You are not there when religion is not there. Just like sweetness is not there, sugar is not there. Similarly, unless dharma is there, human beings are not there. So then what is spiritual then? The purpose of religion is to become spiritual. The purpose of religion is not to increase material facilities or to, to hate others or to create separate facilities for one class of people, etc, etc. The purpose of religion is to become spiritual. Why is it called spiritual? Because each one of us are spiritual spark. We are jivatmas. We are spiritual in nature. In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, Mamai Vamsho Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatanaha. He uses the word Sanatana. Sanatana means completely spiritual. All the living entities in this world, being my parts and parcels, they are all spiritual. That means they are eternally existent. Sat Chit Ananda. That is their eternal existence. So, by following religious principles, we, are, we will come up to the point of being spiritual, identifying ourselves to be, I am not this body which is ever-changing, rather I am unchanging spirit soul is what we come to, to this understanding we come to. So, it is synonymous or you can say religious or spiritual is in one sense synonymous, but in a modern context they are not synonymous. So, we can say any religion which brings you to a spiritual position is a true religion. So this is how we can find a balance between religion and spirit. Thank you. Hare Krishna.